for this question I'm going to explain how we take an input string which in this case is dot 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 x dot 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 and we change it according to some rules. Now the rules are look at three characters in the string and change the middle one according to the rules that we have here. Don't worry about the numbers for the moment, I'll come to those later. So for this particular three we have dot dot x. Now dot dot x says change the middle element so that it's an x. So on the next string, the new string, that position is going to be an x. The position before it, dot dot dot, well dot 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 becomes a dot in the middle. Now at the ends we want to link round. So this dot here has to its left a dot and to its right a dot. So we have dot 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 again and dot 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 says change the middle to a dot. Now moving along the next one we have to fill in is dot x dot. Dot x dot says change the middle to an x. x dot dot, x dot dot, change the middle to an x. Dot 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 again, middle is a dot. Dot dot dot, middle is a dot. Dot dot and then the first one is the last one here, so dot 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 again is a dot. Now that completes one change of the string and we're going to repeat that again. So that's the first generation, this is the second generation. Now normally when you do this you'd start at the beginning of the string but just to explain it it was easier to show you one in the middle. So this time we'll do it from the beginning of the string. So looking at the line above we see that the first element in the string has a dot to its left and a dot to its right, so it's dot dot dot, so that's a dot. Now we have dot dot x, and dot dot x, that's number 2 here, gives me an x. Dot x x is an x, x x x is a dot, x x dot is a dot, x dot dot is an x, dot 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 is a dot, and dot 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 is also a dot. And we can continue like that. And so after five generations we have the string dot 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 xx dot xx. And you see we have quite an interesting pattern building up. Now we can do this for lots of different choices of these dots and x's in blue on the second line. In fact we can do it in 256 different ways. And in order to decide what pattern we're going to use, what rules rather, we can give this rule a number. Now wherever I've got an x on the bottom row I'm going to add up those numbers, so 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 and that gives me 30. So this here uses pattern 30. Now instead of pattern 30 we could choose a different pattern. Let's say we choose pattern 69. Now 69 is equal to, now we have to look at these numbers above and work out how to make 69 out of those numbers. Well 128 doesn't go into 69 so we don't need any of those. 64 does so we want a 64. We don't want any 32's, we don't want any 16's, nor 8, but we do need 4, we don't need 2 and we do need 1. So 64 plus 4 plus 1, 69. So that means that we want 1, so that means we're going to replace dot 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 the middle element by an x. No 2's, we do have a 4, we don't have an 8, we don't have 16, we don't have 32, we do have 64 and we don't have 128. So we could start off with the same input as before, which was dot 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 x dot 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 dot. So when we have a dot at the beginning, its neighbour on the left is a dot and its neighbour on the right is a dot, we have dot 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 and that's replaced with an x. Dot 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 again is an x. Dot dot x is a dot, remember we're looking down here. Dot x dot, that's number 4, is an x. X dot dot is a dot. Dot 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 is an x. 
dot 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 is an x and dot 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 is an x as well. So that's line one. Continuing with the same thing, I'll fill in a few more lines so that we can see what happens with the pattern. And now I come to line six, I see that I'm getting exactly the same as I had in line five, which means line seven will also be exactly the same. Now some of the values give you these patterns that just become stable, others are just chaotic, and so there's lots of different things going on that can be quite interesting to look at. Now to come to the actual code. What I'm asking you to do is to take as input a string, which is a string of dots and x's, a pattern number, which is between 0 and 255, and you're going to have to use that to work out where the dots and x's go. You will be supplied with this information here. In other words, the numbers that correspond to the x, x, i, which is the pattern that you look up. And finally, a number of generations, and that's a positive integer, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. And your output should be the generation or the string at that generation, n. So for instance, if the input string was, as we have here, the pattern was 69 and the generation was 5, you would return dot x, dot x, dot x, dot x.